is Mike Lively, and this is the last of four videos on databasing in Flash Builder. So, uh, last video, we actually talked about uh, building a database. And so, we went to phpMyAdmin and built a database for my book site, which had a primary key, a title, an image, a video, and description. And then, what we did, we actually created an application in Flash Builder. Uh, uh, we checked the PHP option and we ran the data wizard and created automatically the PHP services needed to connect to that database. So let's go back to Flash Builder and let's take a look at what we created. So we call this application AAA My Data Book Base. And uh, we had a default application that was created. We created the services right here and we created the value objects. And here you can see in Bin Debug we have this little. Uh, arrow here, which means it's being shared. It's being shared with the uh, WAMP server. And so if I open that up, on the WAMP server as well will be all these folders. And I see in my services package is that PHP that I talked about last time. I'll click on that. That'll bring up Dreamweaver. And in Dreamweaver, we can see that PHP code. Click on code. We can see that PHP code that is all the CRUD that we discussed earlier. Just real quick here, I just want to say this is not uh, something you want to put in an actual server because if you look at that password, it's just not secure. So you want to change all that stuff when you actually put it up on a real server. But for you know, working on your local uh, computer, it's okay. So what we're going to do over the next section is we're going to deal with the following items. We're going to show you how to get all the data and stuff that into a data grid and talk about tokens and value objects. They want to show you how to add data, delete data, update data, save data, uh, revert data, and get data by ID. And all of this code will be generated automatically. I think there's only about five lines of code we actually have to write here. So now if you're watching on YouTube, this video will actually have to be split into half because YouTube only gives you uh, 10 minutes of video. So in this case, this will be a longer video that we're going to split. So let's get to it. Let's bring up the application, add a data grid, and grab all the data that's in the database. So I'm in Flash Builder right now and I'm in Design View. That's very important to realize. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a data grid to the stage. And there's nothing in it, but I'm going to bind the data that I've created through these PHP services to this data grid. Now there's two ways to do that. Uh, I'm just going to come here and hit go to Window and go to Data Services. And here's the data service I've built, Book Table Service. And I'm going to click on that little arrow there and come down here to... Uh, get all book table. I'm just going to drag and drop that right onto the data grid. And when I do that, that immediately just binds to the data grid. Isn't that fantastic? Ooh, how hard this used to be and now just so easy in Flash Builder. And I'm done with that. Now I could also have right clicked on the screen here with the data grid activate it and bound data to it that way as well. And so here it is. Let's go ahead and run the application. And you see a data grid and there's nothing in it. And of course that's the way it should be because remember uh, you haven't put any data in your data grid yet. Now let's actually go to the code and see what we've done. So now let's go and take a look at the code. And the way you want to do that is go ahead and click on the data grid and that's going to actually highlight the code in the source and you take you right to where you need to go. Then we'll use our control uh, click trick to uh, navigate around a different code that was generated. So let's go to source. And there's my data grid code highlighted. You can see below that you can see I actually have all the data grid columns. All this was generated automatically, didn't write a line of code. And I want to take a look at this. There's a creation complete handler right here, very important. And right inside the data grid, there's a creation complete method. And what that means is once the data grid's been created, then this method is fired. And that's going to grab the token that you need. And very important, you want to see this data provider. And that's going to have the get results. It's going to grab all that information, stuff it into the data provider so your data grid can read it. Now, now Flash Builder has a wonderful mechanism to help you learn what all this stuff means. And basically if you roll over a method, it'll tell you what it does. And so in this uh, instance, last result, what does that do? This property stores the result property of the token each time it delivers a successful result. You can bind to or access this property instead of the token. Isn't that amazing? So one of the ways that I learn what all this stuff does is just by rolling over it and reading the descriptions. And you're going to find that extremely helpful. Let's use control click and let's find out what happens when this data grid is created from this creation complete. So I hit that. And here's the important method right here. Basically what's happening here is here's your PHP service right here. 
book service, and it calls a get all book table method. And it stuffs that into your token, get all book table result dot token. So once again, if you want to know what all this stuff means, just roll over, just roll over it, and read the description. So once that's done, if I right click on get all book result, then that's my call responder. Call responder is a very important item in uh, Flash Builder. And basically says this component helps you manage the result for asynchronous calls made from RPC-based services. That's helping you bring in all the stuff and stuff it into your data provider. Now, isn't that a description? Let's move on from here and let's add data to our data grid. So you're now about to enter the wonderful world of auto code generation. You're going to add data to this data grid uh, or to your MySQL database without writing a single line of code. And so let's go up here to data and select this wonderful little item called generate form. And in generate form, uh, there are tons of little methods that you can choose. I mean, it's hooking up to your uh, PHP services. And what I want to do is I want to create uh, a table or, or, or a row in my database. So I'll just hit, click on that hit next and hit finish and it's gonna automatically generate all that code for me hoo, hoo, hoo. isn't that wonderful so let me bring this down and this kind of tells me when it's complete and this right here is the form that was generated and let's just run this and add some data to my MySQL server so let's run now I, I want my ID to start with one two three or four and so I'm gonna hit one in here and I'm just going to add data. Remember, this is for my book, so I'll call this chapter one. I'll call this image one. We'll call this video one. And we'll call this description. Pretty cool. And I just hit create book table. Now, a little zero appeared here telling me that it was done, but I don't see it. So let's refresh and see if we see anything. And there's my data. Now, I actually want uh, that to appear when I hit create book data. So I'm going to add a little line of code that actually I'm going to auto-generate uh, through the services tag and that will allow me to see the data as it's added to the data grid. So before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about what we've done, what we've generated. So I want to click on this outside here and just take a look at the form. And so what's been generated for me automatically, once again, is a complete form. I didn't have to do it. It's here. Now, immediately you should see this wonderful little thing here called book table. What is that? Let's control click on it see where it takes me it takes me to the value object hoo hoo this is a wonderful thing so this is going to enable me to insert anything I want to into the value object book table and send that right to my SQL server boom this is great and then I'm gonna be able to parse it by the ID so whatever ID I want to change just put it in there boom send it up and I've added it to the server now what I want to happen is I actually want this to show after I add it so let's go back to my design mode and let's just click on that create book table. Let's see what happens when we press that button. So go back to source. And I'm going to use my little, uh, and here's the button. I'm going to use my little control roll over here and click. And what happens here, you can see there's a token generated. But it's using that book service method. See that PHP service I created and one of the methods inside it. Now, I can see all those methods by using my little dot. And you see it brings all the methods up associated with that. And you can see one of those methods is the create book table. So now I can actually auto-generate all this code just by hitting a dot and bringing whatever method I want up and then I can have it add, delete, take away, you know, modify, uh, grab by ID page just by hitting that dot there and selecting the correct method. Woohoo, isn't that nice? Uh, I'm going to just do a few things. I'm going to get rid of this token thing here. I don't need it. And I'm going to use a dot book table. That's great. I'm going to add a line of code so when I click on this button, not only is it updated, but it fires back and gets all the methods. Now I've actually kind of got a code stub here. I'm going to copy this right here. And we're going to paste this right here. And so what's going to happen is going to create that uh, method. Basically what it's going to do is I'm going to put things in the value object. How do I put things in the value object? Well, I just fill this out. Here are my value objects. So I just add data to the data grid. And then once it's in the value object, that fires and sends it to the table. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to retrieve everything that's in that table by calling the get all book table method. So let's run this and see if it works. So now let's add the second piece of data. So I'm going to click on 2. That'll be my second index. And this will be chapter 2, image 2, video 2 and description. 
and let's hit create ta book table. And not only did it add it to the MySQL server, it also spit it back to me when I ran the get all books method. So next time we're going to learn how to add the delete method.